Okay, so next phase. Water, not Coca-Cola, water. And a cloth. Uh, I don't recommend using paper towels. You can use those hardened shop towels, but this is just a clean scrap of cotton muslin. That will work just fine. You don't just want to dump water on this unless you're doing hot water treatment. It makes it too wet. With a different hide, I will talk about the hot water treatment. This one didn't need it, so I'm not going to do it. You can see the hide is slightly starting to soften, which is exactly what has to happen in order for us to dry it under true tension. But those outside edges are a lot stronger now, so they will actually hold up to a little bit more pulling, but not if you pull on them when they're dry. They'll just rip out then because it'll be brittle. Okay, you can see at this point that it's quite wet and bouncy. There's no more drum. Tighten everything. I should be able to get quite a bit more, maybe even up to an inch all around. And the outside edge doesn't pull very well, but the inside should pull fine. We will come back in a couple days after this has had a chance to dry and resand and then let it sit for another week. This is the second day after the initial re-wet, after the sanding and the re-wetting, and listen to this. Beautiful drum sound. Um, 400 grit sandpaper, and I am just going to do a final sanding on this, and fast forward, and then I'll flip it around, see what the other side needs, and we'll go from there. Mask for safety when using fine sandpaper. You'll notice that this is getting whiter as I'm sanding it because I'm exposing that fresh material. I'm paying attention to the aesthetics of the finished piece, but somebody's going to have to paint and draw on this. And there is a crease across here from something. I don't think that's going to go away. I've got another one here. It may have been where it was folded in the freezer, but once it's cut into pieces, that probably won't be a big deal. I'll be done with it. When I'm done with it. When it all feels right. What I need to do is finish sanding everything down through here. This area here is a little bit rough, so I'll probably have to go back with the 220 and then back down to the 400. Um, flip it over, do the same thing and then let it dry for about a week. This has to be completely dry under tension. I'm not really going to fuss with it much after this.
here is the hair side of the parchment before final sanding. And see if I can get a nice close up of the area that I talked about in an earlier video. See if I can come over here. There's no there's no rough texture left there. I still have to do a final sanding on it but you could actually write on that right now. Hair side of the hide all finished. You can see the natural variations in the color of the hide. Some wear and tear marks on the sheep. I figured that, that that streak that's across it is the beam that I hung it up on in the barn, so I will have to remember not to do that in the future. All right. And then here is that first place that I showed. Let's see if I can get it from the side. Totally smooth. 